you can set the alignment you can set the widget on tap action once again now this is for this element uh, this is not the the widget as a whole we already set that to nothing uh, but this is just for the clock so if you wanted to whenever you click on the clock you wanted to go to your default clock application or your alarm application you could do that and it's very simple click on it it gives you some uh, couple of options here including the disable the tap action altogether if you swipe over though you get your full applications list and that's where you can click and choose what uh, application you want this action to launch now we can click on text content and we'll have a huge list of different things that we can set this to and time date battery calendar and uh, you know continues on we are doing time so we got a clock so we'll click on the time and we get a little bit of a drop down menu and you can change it uh, 24 hours 12 hours uh, time to midnight there's several different things in here you can change this clock to do but we're fine with what it is we can edit the text manually if we don't want it to be a clock we want it to say something we can do that now here's where we can edit the font. Uh, you can change the color, you can change the font type, uh, you can change the size, which we will want to do that. Let's change the size. So I just long press on the number there and it pops up the keyboard. Okay, so I just set it to 70 and uh, 70, that's a good size. You can also use the uh, little arrows here to kind of go back and forth. It's quicker just to put in a number though. Like I said, we can change the color, we can change the type of font. You can set the text alignment, whether you want it to be to the left, to the middle, up top, bottom of the widget. If we were doing a rectangle or a line of some sort, we could set the curve and turn it into a circle. Now we get into the shadow. I like adding a shadow. It makes it pop off the screen, gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. So we'll set the blur first, and that is just the diffusion of the shadow okay I set it to 20 uh, now you can set the angle of the shadow which way you want the shadow to point alright so I set the height and the width both to 100 so it gave me a nice white square there but I want this to be just an outline around one of the uh, either the hour or the minute I haven't decided we'll just do hour I also don't want it to be a perfect square I want it the the corners to be rounded so I go into the curves here and we're gonna set that number now I don't want it to be a perfect square I want the corners to be kind of rounded so we're gonna go into corners here we're gonna set that number higher now I don't want it to be a solid square I want it to be just an outline so we come down here to outline and we're going to increase this number and you see that as soon as we do it turns into just an outline all right there we go I think that's how I want it um, I made it big enough to cover the, the dots that were in between the hours and the minutes. So that's kind of cool. Now I also want to have shadow match. Okay, so there we go. Now we're done. We're done with our widget. And of course, the sky is the limit on what you can add to these things. And um, But whenever you're done, you just want to hit back. Up the top here, you can. there's a spot to save it. You can save to your SD card so that you'll always have this configuration ready to go. Whenever you're ready, just hit the back button and the widget will update. And there we go, we have a new clock widget. Now, I just noticed that the background to the widget is not transparent. So we just go into our widget color and we'll set the transparency all the way up. And now we should be good. We just hit back. Now our widget is completely transparent. So a ton of things you can do with this. Great thing about this is you can integrate it with Nova Launcher to get a really cool look. It also has Tasker integration. Once you pair it with Tasker and variables and all that, sky's the limit. And once again, there's tutorials on how to do that. So real quick, I wanted to show you guys something else you can do using the Zooper widgets. You can integrate it with other applications such as Widget Locker, which I've done here. All of these widgets were created by uh, an amazing developer, and you can find that over at MyColorScreen.com. But 
just really awesome. You've got the date, uh, the time, hours, minutes, then you have your battery percentage. Here's a bunch of other cool widgets that uh, another individual created. Once again, you can find these over at MyColorScreen.com. All of these buttons work. They take you where you need to go. And you can remap. You can edit everything. It's just really awesome. A couple different applications have come out that have been game changers in the, uh, the mobile industry here on Android. And Tasker being one of them, definitely for sure. And I say UCCW as well as Zooper definitely fall into that category as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope this video wasn't too long. I'll put links down where you can find these in the Play Store. There is a free version and there's the Pro version, which is what I have, the Pro. I recommend picking it up. It's definitely worth the money. The free version, you can't import other people's templates. So you're only, you can only create your own. You can't add other people's uh, works of art, really, you could say. Be sure to thank the developer over on XDA. Same guys that brought us Themer application, which I did a review of and is an amazing application. Themer probably would fall into that category of game-changing applications as well. But that's it for me, guys. I've taken up enough of your time. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. I'll see you next time. Thank you.